Hello, my name is Sanket Raju, and for my biology role model project, I chose J. Craig Venter, a leading scientist in synthetic biology who is most famous for his work on the Human Genome Project. Craig Venter was not initially interested in science as a child. His initial interest was sparked by being uh, a worker in a field hospital during the Vietnam War. Surrounded by injured and dying Marines, he fell into depression and attempted suicide. Always when with water, he swam a mile out to sea before he realized that he did want to live. And his drive was to study medicine to help people, though that would later change to biomedical sciences. As a child, Venter was a subpar student. He almost failed out of high school. After his stint in Vietnam, he enrolled at the College of San Mateo in California and later transferred to the University of California, San Diego. He received a BS in biochemistry in 1972 and a PhD in physiology and pharmacology in 1975. Growing up in California, Venter enjoyed his time immensely on the water. He was known to be an avid surfer and he also enjoyed boating and fishing. As a youth, he was also known to play chicken with trains. For points of admiration, uh, Venter overcame mental health struggles to become one of the most influential scientists in the world. His advocation for the use of shotgun sequencing led to the quick completion of the Human Genome Project in 2001. He's also given a TED Talk. It might just be me, but I think that's pretty cool. Much of Venter's research has been regarding genetics and synthetic biology. Venter is particularly passionate about using genomics to transform healthcare. He advocated for the use of shotgun sequencing and was a large part of the Human Genome Project. He is currently the CEO of the J. Craig Venter Institute, which conducts research into synthetic biology. Craig Venter has kept up with his work uh, regarding genomics. Uh, his most recent paper, uh, entitled Precision Medicine Integrating Whole Genome Sequencing, Comprehensive Metabolomics, and Advanced Imaging, was published on January 24, 2020. It regards the clinical utility of genome sequencing in rare disease diagnosis. It utilized a cohort study of 1,190 participants and found that deep phenotyping for clinical assessments due to genome sequencing allowed for diagnosis ahead of manif manifestation in over 75% of cases. Uh, Venter's next steps include uh, his work with the Human Longevity Incorporation, which he founded in 2014. The Human Longevity Incorporation focuses on expanding the healthy, high-performance human lifespan. They plan to sequence about 40,000 genomes a year, mostly cancer-related. Their goal is to use diagnostics related to stem cell therapy and genomics to extend the human lifespan. These are uh, the citations of the most recent paper that uh, Venture has written, as well as my sources for images.